What's up guys? Today we're going to install and set up Pi-hole within Proxmox. But what is Pi-hole? Pi-hole is an awesome ad blocker that can be used on your whole network, allowing you to protect your network, improve your network's performance, and even use the web interface to see blocked ads in real time. In this video, we're going to create a container, install Pi-hole, and I'll show you how to set up the DNS sinkhole on a device by device basis. In this case, I'll be showing you on my Mac Mini. This will be a pretty quick and simple demonstration, so let's get to it. Okay, let's get into creating the container within Proxmox. Uh, if you don't have Proxmox set up already, uh, go ahead and check out my other videos uh, where I show you how to install Proxmox. So once you're logged into Proxmox, go to your node, local storage, CT templates, so container templates. Going to click on templates. We're going to search Ubuntu and uh, choose the Ubuntu 20.04 standard, the Ubuntu Focal. So you're going to see two different ones of uh, Jammy and Ubuntu Focal. Go ahead and download the Ubuntu Focal one. All right, once that's done, it'll say task OK. You can exit. Uh, you'll see it in your CT templates uh, library. Now we're going to go to create CT, make the host name PyTag Hole, create a password, confirm that password, hit next, choose your template. Next, disk size, we're going to keep it at 8 gigs. The default uh, Pi Hole recommends 4 uh, with a minimum of 2 gigs. So 8 is perfect. Hit next. CPU, one core is fine. 512 megabytes of memory is good. Network here, we're going to put uh, IPv4 to DHCP and IPv6 to DHCP. Next, next, confirm and finish. All right, once that says task OK, you can exit. Go ahead and find that container that says pie hole. Go to the console, start the container. Okay, here we're going to log in. So username is going to be root. Passwords are going to be the one you set up. And then from here, we're going to create a new user so we're not using the root user. So type in add user and then your username. Type in your password. Confirm that password. And then you can skip all of these unless you want to fill it out. Information is correct. Hit enter or Y. And then we're going to add that user um, to a sudo account. So add user Darren sudo. Okay, now we're going to switch user to Darren. We're going to go through uh, the updates and upgrades. So sudo apt update ampersand twice sudo apt upgrade. Type in your password. It's going to go through finding um, all the updates, and if there's updates, uh, it will apply those updates with sudo apt upgrade. Here we want to continue it next. Okay, once everything's complete, we're going to install curl. So sudo apt install curl. Continue. Okay, once that's finished, we're going to go over to Pi-hole's official website. Uh, scroll down to this install Pi-hole. It will send you to a GitHub page. You'll see here it says one step automated install. Go ahead and copy that. Go back to your terminal, paste, hit enter. 
and it'll go through the installation. Okay, and then you'll see this Pi Hole Automated Installer page. Go ahead, hit OK, OK. Just saying that you need to have a, a static IP address for a Pi Hole to function properly. So you can do this through a DHCP reservation or signing one manually. Hit continue. Your upstream DNS provider, you can just stick with the Google OK. Third party lists in order to block ads. So you, Stephen Black's unified host list, just hit yes. Do you want to install the web interface? Yes. Yes. Enable query logging? Yes. Or show everything. And then I'll finish up the installation. Okay, and then here you'll see the IPv4 address for PyHole on this is going to be 192.168.4.120. And it's telling you you can access the web interface through uh, this URL or this URL that includes your IP address slash admin. And then this is going to be your admin web page login passwords, which is going to be your temporary password. We're going to go ahead and change it right now. So hit OK. All right, type in pi hole, tag A, tag P, and then your new password. Okay, and it says new password is set. So before we get into pi hole, uh, let me show you something real quick as far as differences of your DNS server going through pi hole and then without pi hole. So I have a CNET, CNET tab open right here. So you see uh, when you go to CNET, you have this T-Mobile uh, ad right here. And then see your other pop-up ads are. If you scroll down, see ad right here. It even says advertisement, ad, ad. So pretty much on every scroll, uh, there's an ad on the CNET uh, website. So we'll see how it looks after uh, we install PyHole and get everything set up properly. So we're going to copy this URL, open up a new tab, paste and go, type in your password. Okay, and you see right here, uh, we're in the PyHole uh, web interface. Uh, not, there's no queries, uh, no blocked ads. Uh, nothing's happening right now. So what we need to do, we're going to, I'm going to show you how it uh, works in Mac. So I'm going to search DNS servers. Can you see this is uh, the DNS servers my ISP uses. Go ahead and delete these. Add PyHole's address. So just type in uh, this IP address right here, 192.168.4.120, and then hit OK. And then you, once I hit OK, you'll see uh, queries and blocked ads immediately start populating. We go to the query log. Uh, nothing has shown blocked yet, uh, but you see uh, queries are going through. If we go to the CNET page, and refresh it. You see now there's no T-Mobile ad there. No T-Mobile ad. No ad. No ad. So there's no ads coming through on CNET anymore. Go back here. You'll see the queries are uh, actively increasing. Blocked ads are increasing. Percent blocked 54.4%. We go to our query log. You'll see uh, these ad URLs showing blocked. All right, and then that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, if you guys want me to go more in depth in the pie hole, I can just leave a comment in the section below and I can make another video going a little bit more in depth in the pie hole.